friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. So today I'm here to talk all about my wish list for the Sephora Cell. So Sephora Cell is approaching, it's going to start for Rouge members this Friday, April 17th, and I'm ready to shop. I am super excited for this cell. I was asked to do my wish list video. I already did my recommendations, we will, I will list above. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get through my wish list on that video. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. If you're a new friend here, hey, what's up? My name is Gigi. Thank Thank you so so much for being here and clicking on my video do take a second and click that red subscribe button down below for more beauty videos and without further ado let's start all right friends so the way i like to shop the cell is i'm always thinking about skincare big one so skincare hair care and then uh, maybe a splurge item and then few things like new releases and stuff like that and it just happens that on the 17th which is gonna you know the day that the Sephora sale starts uh three lunches are gonna happen and yeah they want our money friends they do uh but i mean i'm here for it i can't i'm not gonna lie so fenty um, beauty is coming out with cream blushes i mean i am obsessed with cream products i love them so much i just find them so youthful and just super easy to apply right now I'm wearing Fenty's pearl which is one of her matchsticks the highlighting stick the new one and it is a beautiful product you can see that glow on my cheeks and that's the only thing that I have no other powder at top super natural and juicy so I just feel like it makes me look super healthy so she's coming out with cream blushes and I am gonna be picking up Cool Berry, which is a soft mauve color with shimmer. I love me some shimmer on my blush. Then I may be picking up the shade a Soft Coral, which, you know, is the is called Strawberry Deep. Um, and then a Summertime Wine, which is a soft berry with shimmer. I love blushes, I love cream products, and I'm all over this new release. Um, she's also coming out with bronzers, and cream bronzers are also my thing. Right now, I'm wearing my milk stick. I'm obsessed with like cream products, you guys. That is a problem that I have right now. But yeah, she's coming out with, um, they're called Chicks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzers. I'm not sure which is the shade I'm gonna pick up. I think I want to pick up the shade Teddy or um, Honey Blaze. So I'm just gonna, you know, just um, think about it a little bit more. But Honey Glaze is for medium to tan skin tones, which is where I'll be in. Or um, Macchiato also looks really nice. But I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm not gonna be picking up two of these ones. I cannot do that. The brushes I will, uh, but bronzers I already have enough. So. These two from Fenty are a go. Another release is one by Patrick Ta. So he's coming out with a, a brow product, which is a, one of those soapy uh, gel kind of thing. One, it has no color. One is transparent. Um, and the other one looks brown, but he only has one shade. So I'm a little bit confused because that one looks a little bit too dark, but I do have dark hair, so I guess it wouldn't matter. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna pick up the clear one or the color one but that's a release that's coming out the same Friday of the sale and I'm gonna be picking either one of those so I am super excited with that Patrick Ta uh, release I cannot wait another product that is new and it's gonna release I thought it was gonna release on the day of the sale but I think they decided to just put it out and it's by Cosas we're talking about the Sun Glow Moisturizing uh, Baked Bronzer this looks just beautiful you guys look at the packaging of it that mint green i mean is everything i love it so i think i'm gonna be picking up the shade medium um and it's described as a golden bronze it is a moisturizing bronzer baked with shea butter that's an effortless one-step sculpting, highlighting, and color effect for a whole face. I mean, that description is just everything. It is a clean product from Sephora, and it is super, super intriguing, so I'm gonna be picking that up 100%. And I don't know, I talked about skincare, and I haven't mentioned one skincare product so far. I apologize, I just jumped into the new releases because I got super excited. But one that I'm gonna be picking up is the Sephora Collection Triple Action Cleansing Water. I talked 
talked about this in my recommendations uh, video. I said, I, you know, I love that product, that I use it a lot, that I'm out of it. And so I'm gonna be picking up the big bottle for sure. So that product is amazing. I also have hanging out here, this Sephora Collection Face Serum. I have it in the Lychee. Uh, they have four types. This is a new product from them. It is a small, tiny serum. I don't know, it says it's ultra hydrating. I may be picking that up, but I'm not 100% sure. A product by Clinique that is also new, but I am super intrigued. I, I saw a few um, a few videos on it from YouTube. Just people that are saying that it's a really good one. It is called the Even Better Clinical Radical Dark Spot Corrector and Interrupter. Please let me know if you tried this product. It is newish, um, but it's, it's pricey. So this is a brightening serum that helps visibly improve the look of discoloration and acne scars while addressing the appearance of future dark spots. So I do suffer from, um, you know, when it's that type of the month, I always get breakouts and then I just get a, a hyperpigmentation afterwards. It's just, my skin is super sensitive and uh, it just gets, you know, uh, pigmented so, so, easily so I'm always fighting like every time of the month I'm always fighting afterwards I get like after I get the breakout uh, so I want to try something different the product that I've been using for a long time is this one by Glow Recipe the pineapple serum I am going to be picking one up because I love it that much you see that I'm already almost out of it um, so I have that in my cart that is something I'm going to be picking up uh, but I wanted to try something different so I may give this clinic guy a go because I mean all the claims and the reviews look really good so we'll see and since we're at it let's talk about hair Olaplex came out with a big top of their hair perfector number three if you never tried this uh, number three guy this is a um, repair and straighten um, like product so let's read about it because I don't know how to describe it. So it's concentrated treatment that strengthens the hair from within, reducing breakage and improving its look and feel. I've been using this product on and off for a long time and they come in a 100 milliliter bottle. So it's a tiny bottle, but this one has 250 so it they came out with the big guy i have it in my card because i'm already almost out of the one that i'm using every time i use it i don't use it every single uh, week i'm not gonna lie but every time i use it i just really feel a difference afterwards how my hair dries and everything so i am gonna be picking this up because it's a product that i don't use consistently but i like to have you know it's like a comfort thing. <laughs> Another skincare product, you guys, that I'm gonna be trying is this one by Red. Let me know if you tried anything by them. This line is just super intriguing to me. I've only tried a sample of uh, their Glow Serum, not serum, um, it's like a toner. Um, and I, I've used it on and off and I, I quite like it. But anyway, I'm gonna be picking the Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. There's a theme here, as you can see. I'm, I'm determined to target all my dark spots. And yeah, this one is, uh, um, an overnight a mask so I really like overnight masks I just love them they're super heavy and I don't know I just I just love sleeping masks so this one is meant to be a rich hydrating sleeping cream especially formulated to work while you sleep to target only dark spots and re-energize your skin so it's meant for all skin types and blah 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 it is a new product again uh, clean from Sephora it looks great to me so I think I'm gonna be picking this one up as well. Another skincare product that I have to pick it up is this one by Fresh. It is their kombucha black tea, um, kombucha antioxidant infusion treatment essence. Have you guys tried an essence? Let me know, have you tried this product? You know this Kai 2 essence that is super fancy. I'm always so intrigued by this kind of essence products <laughs> um, that I think a good compromise is this one by Fresh. It's not super pricey as the other one. Um, this guy too, I can't do that. But this is meant to be an anti-pollution essence um, for dullness and uneven texture, fine line wrinkles and dark spots. So it has kombucha, it has um, uh, hyaluronic acid and mandarin pill extract. Uh, it's just a good essence to put before anything on your face and it's just gonna 
you know, make you supple and yummy. So yeah, this is a product that I need to add to my um, regimen that I want to see if it's going to really make a difference in my dark pigmentations. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that one is 100% uh, a must. On my recommendations video, I did said I was going to pick up the Sol de Janeiro conditioner. I am going to be picking that guy up because that is a must right now for me and my hair and I'm, all, uh, I'm almost out of it. So I'll put a picture up there so that you can see which one I'm talking about but again if you're gonna see my recommendations I'll link it up uh, below I also did mention that I needed a, um, Anastasia Lush Brack mascara I have the travel size because I didn't want to you know commit and buy the bigger one and then not like it so I did go smart this time I bought the little one and so I'm gonna be picking up a full size because it is a great volumizing mascara it just curls your lashes real nice and it holds the curl it doesn't smudge it's just like perfect to me so yeah I really like that mascara by Anastasia and I'm gonna be picking that up for sure something that is right now in my card is one by Tarte. Let me know if you tried this product because I am super intrigued. This one is um, their Baba Zoo Fanzilla Skincare Foundation. So skincare and foundation and it's just like a super glowy uh, foundation. I am really intrigued by it you guys. Uh, the coverage is medium. It has a radiant finish. So it is said to be a vegan makeup and skincare hybrid um, that's your total complexion solution for achieving an ultra comfortable natural radiant finish and cushion coverage. So I don't know, I, it just looks really intriguing. It is not new, um, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna be picking this guy up. I am a, a foundation and concealer junkie and um, Oh, I have to really hold myself. Uh, I don't need more foundation, but this one seems really intriguing. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you've tried Something it. Something else that is right now on my basket is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. The only reason that I have this one in the color Citrus, by the way, um, in my car right now is because it's half like it's already on sale it's like half the price so it is 117 dollars and right now it's retailing for 58.50 and it's just a big old palette of old blushes from natasha i really love natasha genona stuff um so the only reason that i have it here is because it's on sale i'm not gonna lie i don't really need it uh but i may give it a go because i mean it's just a sell over a sell right it's like amazing <laughs> Something else that is on my cart right now is one of MAC's Glow Play Blush. I know if you're in the States, they don't sell MAC over there, but here in Canada they do. So I have the shade Shirap. I really love my So Natural. Where did it go? Okay, it's not around here, but the So Natural by MAC. I love it so, so much. And I highly, highly recommend that blush if you like that glowy look. Um, so I do want to try the shade as sheer up so i may pick that up another cream product oh my god i'm in trouble is this one by tower 28 beauty it is also um, a cream blush um i picked the shade magic hour again all these products i may i may not be picking up once i see my total i'll freak out and i'm going to stick to a budget i already have a mental budget um so we'll see what i'm going to do today is tuesday and i have to you know thursday night and friday to think about um, my budget but anyways this one by tower 28 is a multitasking tinted balm for ultra glowing lips and cheeks so it just looks really nice and dewy so yeah i like do i i really like i i i like it for this time of the year not much for winter but yeah like spring and summer i'm all about it a random purchase that i decided to put in my car but again i, I don't know if i'll pick it up is this one my natasha denona it is her biba palette the all neutral biba palette it's a famous palette you guys probably have it i don't know if i should pick it up i mean i don't have it i really want to try it it's like the you know the neutral uh dream come through in a palette i don't know i really like it i like her formulas i have few her palettes but this one it looks just so good to me um 
But yeah, I may give it a go. It's just so pricey. So for her formula, I much rather pay, you know, this kind of size. She gives you less shadow, but like for, you know, few shades. So I don't know. I hate that the Biba is so expensive because you get a ton of product. So I, my dream will be that she comes up with like the Biba in like a little one like this. But I don't know if she'll do that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll pick it the Biba, but let me know what do you think should I? One of the splurge items that I decided to add to my car is by Tom Ford. It is their shade and illuminate and I have the shade intensity one. Again, that's like my thin. It is a duo <laughs> compact with a bronzer, cream bronzer, and cream highlighting product. I think that this highlighter doesn't have a color to it. It's again like those transparent things that you can just, you know, use to highlight your cheekbones. But yeah, that's a splurge item that I may be picking up if I'm, you know, if I feel so fancy that day. We'll see. A repurchase that I need right now is one by Benefit Cosmetics. It is their double liner deal roller liner liquid liner duo so there's two in one I really like that so I can you know there's a travel size a mini one and then there is like the bigger size I only have their uh their travel size where did I go right here but it's almost like all dried up so that's why I need to pick up a backup because I really like this liner. If you struggle with liner this one has a such a um such a fine tip that yeah it's a like dummy proof to be honest so i really like this liner during the sale i tend to always pick up eyeshadow especially if it's super pricey so that's what i thought about the natasha nerona piba because that's always something that is you know in my card on and off but i saw this for a pro editorial palette the 2.0 these shades just look so nice and like pastel-y and just like Sephora Pro Collection shadows are really really nice. I do own the warm neutrals and this is just an excellent palette. Like if you need a, an, a reliable <laughs> palette, uh, you can grab one of these Sephora ones. The shades are super, super nice. But I also have my Pat McGrath Labs uh, Quad in the shade Iconic Illumination. Oh my God, it looks just so pretty, but it's so, so expensive. It is the same price. So Pat's is 86 Canadian dollars. The Sephora Pro, where you get like a thousand shades is 85. So it is painful to pay that much for only four shadows, but like Pat's shadows are really, really stunning. So I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I also have the VCR Mini Petite a Pro Shoe Shoe eyeshadow palette, which is super cute. I don't know if I'll pick that up. It looks really nice and cute. I like the, the color story of it. I like the portability of them. I do have one of the warm ones, which has, um, I think, eight shades, two, four, eight. No, the one has 12. I have it, but yeah, BCR shadows are, are expensive, but they're amazing though, so. That one is also, you know, a maybe. And last but not least, I also try to pick up a scent during, you know, during the sale. If you've uh, smelled something that you really like, this is the time. I'm gonna be picking out my Jo Malone Mimosa. I do need another one. I'm already almost out of my current one and I need it. I already told you that in my recommendations video, but I was eyeing this one but, um, by Ives Saint Laurent and it is called their, what? Freshy. Oh guys, yeah, I don't know the name and yeah, but you you see the picture. It is a new scent by them and the the type is a fresh. Fresh is my thing. I love fresh perfumes, I love woodsy, and I love citrus. I don't like sweet. So this one is this that is fresh citrus with fruits. It has lemon, cedarwood, and geranium. I don't know what geranium is, but it just 
sounds so stunning to me the bottle is just say like, so pretty and luxurious so i may pick up the little guy all right my friends that's it for today thank you so so much for hanging out so yeah these were my wish list items um as i said i'm not sure if i'm gonna be picking all of them for sure not all of them but these are the the ones that i want uh but i'm gonna try to stick uh to skincare hair care and fuse purges and of course the new releases because i want to get those so that you can see my reviews and then try to make up your mind if you need them or not the sale is going to continue for a week or so so you know fingers crossed um deliveries aren't going to be too too lengthy and you know they're going to be able to ship stuff on time so that I can review it for you but anyways that's that thank you so so much for hanging around do give me a thumbs up if you enjoy and do not forget to click that red subscribe button for more and I'll see you next time bye guys